This two-part module reviews the framework for bank capital regulation under Basel I and Basel II, analyzes in detail the quantitative rules contained in these standards, illustrates some of the principal weaknesses and inconsistencies in these standards, and summarizes some of the likely changes currently under consideration by the Basel authorities. This module contains five chapters, the first two of which appear in part one and the last three in part two. In part one, chapter one summarizes the principles underlying capital regulation under Basel one and two including the historical background for the introduction of these two standards and lists a number of caveats that accompany our discussion throughout this module. Still in part one, chapter two explores in more detail the rules and calculations underpinning Basel I and highlights their key weaknesses and limitations. In Part 2, Chapter 3 summarizes the rules and calculations underpinning Basel II, explains the key differences with Basel I and why these differences were felt necessary, and highlights some of the remaining weaknesses and limitations of the standard. Chapter 4 summarizes the changes currently under consideration by the Basel authorities sometimes loosely referred to as Basel III, which have resulted principally from the 2008-2009 financial crisis. Chapter 5, finally, contains four quiz questions to test your understanding of the materials covered in this module.